now i am going to teach you the properties of eigen values which is important for two marks for two marks definitely they will ask you at least two properties now actually there are uh, five to 10 properties 10 properties are there among this i am going to teach you only the four important properties which is often asked in the university examination number 1 the sum of the eigen values the sum of the eigen values is equal to the sum of the diagonal elements of the given matrix. The sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the sum of the diagonal elements of the given matrix. Suppose for example, a matrix will be 1, 2, 1, 3, minus 1, 2 and 1, 3, 2. If this is how they will give you the matrix. In this case, what will be the sum of the eigenvalues? They will ask you, find the sum of the eigenvalues for the given matrix. Then you will write it, the sum of the eigenvalues is equals to 1 plus 1 plus 2 which will give you 4. This is property number 1. So the proof is not necessary. Those statement of the property which we are going to apply for the problems. This is one of the property. Property number 2. The product of the eigenvalues the product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant value of the matrix A. That means if suppose if we take the same example now how will you find out the product example previous question. So how will you find out the product? The product of the eigenvalue is equals to determinant of A which is equals to 1 into 2 minus 6 and minus 2 into 6 minus 2 and plus 1 into 9 minus 1. So when you simplify all these you will get some value. This is the product of the eigenvalue. This is how you need to find out the sum and product of the eigenvalues. Now, next to property. Third one, if lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 so on lambda n are the eigenvalues of the matrix A then 1 by lambda 1 1 by lambda 2 so on 1 by lambda n are the eigenvalues of the 
of the inverse matrix A inverse. Suppose for example, two eigenvalues of the matrix A that is 3, 1, 1, 2, 5, 3 and then 1, 2, 3. If suppose this is the matrix given, two eigenvalues of the matrix this are 3 and 6, then find the third eigenvalue and A inverse. So, they have given you the matrix and the two eigenvalues they have given. Using this, we need to find the third eigenvalue also the A inverse. So, how will you find out? You will take let lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 be the eigenvalues. Here we need to use the property sum of the eigenvalues is equal to sum of the diagonal elements. So, what are the eigenvalues here? Lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 which is equals to sum of the diagonal elements is 3, 5, 3. So, 3 plus 5 plus 3 and also in the question they have given two eigenvalues that is 3 and 6. So, 3 plus 6 plus lambda 3 which is equals to 11. From this we can get lambda 3 is equals to 11 minus 9 which will give you 2. Therefore, the eigenvalues of A R of the matrix A R what they have given 3, 6 and 2. You can write it in any order 2, 3 and 6. Similarly, the eigenvalues they have asked the question also find A inverse. So, what will be the A inverse? The eigenvalues of A inverse are 1 by 3, 1 by 6 and 1 by 2. That's it. This is how you need to find out. These are some of the properties. There is one more property which is also the similar like the third one. If lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, so on, lambda n are the eigenvalues of the matrix A, then 1 a, lambda into A power k or you can write it as just I will show you the same thing. Here instead of inverse you will get it in power. If lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, so on, lambda n are the eigenvalues of the matrix A, then k into lambda 1, k into lambda 2, so on, k into lambda n are the eigenvalues of the matrix k a where k is a non-zero scalar. So, these are the four important properties.